let's look at this page from the Science Behind Sight. More light, more sight. We can see better when it is lighter. When you are in a dark room, a candle illuminates only a small area. But if you turn on a ceiling light, it lights up the whole room. Some surfaces reflect light better than others. Black fabric does not reflect light well. Light reflects best off shiny surfaces such as mirrors. A candle only lights a small space. If you want more light, you have to light more candles. So what do you think this section is about? Uh, seeing better when there's more light? And that a ceiling light will light up a room better than a candle will. <coughs> Let's talk about why the author wrote this. Do you think her main purpose was to entertain us? To persuade us to think or act in a certain way? Or was it to inform us? to inform us. What makes you say that? Because she's given us a lot of information about light. Great. And what has the author done to make it easier for us to understand that information? Uh, what do you mean? Well, are there any special features on the page, things that stand out? The headings stand out. What does the heading say? More light, more sight. And what does that mean? If there's more light, you can see more. Great. OK, so what does a heading do? Why do we have them in a text like this? Maybe it's a short way of saying what you're going to read about? Yes, very good. So the heading is one feature on this page. Any others? There's that bold-faced word, illuminates. Can you guess why this word is bold-faced? Because it's important? Right. Words that are important to the topic are usually in boldface. What does illuminates mean? It means to light up. Hey, what about the photo? Isn't that a feature? Sure. Photos are one type of graphic that helps us understand the information. And what about the sentence under the photo? Yep. Remember what it's called? Uh, caption? Right. Tell me about that caption. Well... It repeats an idea in the paragraph. When you are in a dark room, a candle illuminates only a small area. But then it says something else. Yeah, it's additional information. Good job. So this section uses headings, boldface words, photos, and captions. In an informational text, we might also see diagrams, graphs or tables, maybe maps. Remember, these are all features that help give more information.